24 days remaining to the planned swearing-in of the National Super Alliance leader Raila Odinga by the People's Assembly. Uncertainty still remains over the legality of the event and its ramification in the country's political arena. <laughs> Attorney General Gidham Wigai says the scheduled feat by the opposition is a breach of the law and amounts to treason. I don't think the, the government of Kenya would be accepting a notification of a treasonable act. But to my mind, as far as this office is concerned, no notice of that nature has been given. Legitimacy of a government is not obtained <laughs> through banditry politics. Legitimacy is obtained and acquired through integrity to the constitution. According to the AG, Ryler and the people facilitating the ceremony will be guilty of treason which is punishable by death. The chief government advisor says Ryler was not declared the winner by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and the swearing-in ceremony will not be conducted by the chief justice who has duly conferred the win and sworn-in President Uhuru Kenyatta. A swearing-in of any person, any person, not lawfully declared to have won an election by the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission and a swearing in that is not conducted by the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya is a process wholly unanticipated by the Constitution and is null and void and illegal ab initio. But Chapter 7, Carp 63 of the Penal Code states that a person is guilty of treason if he compasses, imagines or intends the death of the president or removes the president from office unlawfully or even overthrows the government through unlawful means. The United States has already urged Nasser to shelve their plans and work within the law, but Nasser maintains that the planned event will go on as scheduled. Friends can give us advice. Give those advice in private. Don't come and shout at us and tell us that we are going to violate the constitution. Which constitution may foot? We as Kenyans will resolve the Kenyan problem as Kenyans. The Attorney General says Nasa People's Assembly is illegal, null and void, and has put on notice 12 county assemblies that have already passed the motion of forming such outfits. These institutions are unconstitutional, they are illegal, they are null and void. The persons involved in their creation are involved in extra constitutional activity and may be visited by the full force of the law. The government has also put on notice some governors for using public funds to fund the People's Assembly, saying they will be charged for misuse of public funds. The state officers can be surcharged or the county itself can be called upon to account. Will the National Super Alliance leader Raila Odinga be sworn in next week on Tuesday or not? This is a question that will only be answered on that day now that the government says that the swearing in of Raila Odinga is null and void and amounts to treason. Brenda Zedra, G4, Channel 1 News, Nairobi.